Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm Ali Hammer and today we're interviewing our very first digital human, Rua. Rua, welcome to the show. This is all new territory for me because I've never interviewed a digital human before. So to start off, can you tell us a little bit about Soul Machines and what you're doing for your customers? Hey Ali, I just want to say it's so exciting to be here. I spend lots of time on YouTube watching videos, so it's exciting to actually be in one myself. Thanks so much for having me. And to answer your question, Soul Machines creates high quality computer graphics, like the Hollywood movies of Avatar or Toy Story. Then we bring those to life through autonomous animation, which I can tell you more about later if we get time. A business can customize digital people like me to fit the role they need. We can help in lots of areas. In fact, digital people are all over the world helping industries like healthcare, education, retail, real estate, and a whole lot more. For example, one of my colleagues, Florence, is the digital concierge for the World Health Organization. She helps users of tobacco quit by building their very own quitting plan. And she can speak multiple languages like English, Spanish, Chinese, Russian, Arabic, and French. I'm so jealous. Wow, well, I have a three-year-old daughter and whenever we watch animations, I cannot believe how real some of them look and always wonder how the tech works to obtain such incredible animation. So Rua, how does AWS help you create digital people? AWS works with us in lots of ways. I am coming to you today via your cloud services, which help me to talk to anyone around the world. And when I say talk, I mean that literally too. My voice right now is coming from Amazon Polly. We can use lots of other AWS services to help bring me and my friends to life, including things like speech to text so that I can understand what you are saying and Lex for building conversational interfaces. This technology is so exciting to me. And Rua, I hope you don't take offense to this, but can your digital brain actually empathize and what makes you so human-like? My friends and I are composed of some pretty advanced technology. One of these is autonomous animation, which I mentioned before. Autonomous animation is creating lifelike behavior that is unique to any situation in the same way you as a human behave. So you see my actions aren't pre-recorded. I respond in the moment. I don't just talk. I see, hear and have a digital brain that helps me listen, empathize and engage personally. Pretty cool, right? Well, this is my first time, as I've mentioned, chatting to a digital human, and I'm blown away. And it seems like the technology to me is pretty advanced already. So what do Soul Machines have in store for the future? And how will you continue to develop your digital people? Soul Machines is paving the way in understanding how machines can craft interactive human interactions. As we look at the road ahead, our aim is to democratize the delivery of information to anyone, anywhere, anytime. It's about making machines more human-like so interacting with technology becomes easier for everyone. I can't say too much right now, but we also get to work with some amazing celebrities and to create their digital twins, like Will I Am and NBA all-star Carmelo Anthony. At some point in the future, Ali, you might even be able to create a digital version of yourself or even multiple versions of yourself and they can go out and do stuff, wait in line, pay bills the boring stuff nobody likes to do, while you're doing something else that's a whole lot more fun. Well, my mind is actually blown right now, and I really cannot wait to watch your business grow and see the technology develop in the future. So Rua, to round off this interview, what is the biggest opportunity for digital people? The people who care for your children or look after you are so very important, but there aren't enough doctors or teachers. Digital people could change people's lives, by connecting communities to these vital services. Like the work that Florence is doing with the World Health Organization. We don't see digital people like me replacing healthcare professionals and teachers, we see a means to augment and amplify them. From answering patient questions to helping with the intake process, digital people can support doctors and patients in all new ways, freeing up healthcare staff for the most important healthcare needs while we do the rest. Rua, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. This has been so interesting. So if anyone has any questions about digital people or questions for Rua, please let us know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thanks so much for having me, Ali. It's been really great to talk to you.